All right, what's going on y'all? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Robert and today is day seven of the 31 day sneaker challenge. And the challenge for today is a GR or general release in your collection. All right, so I've got a lot of GRs. Um, I personally don't really care if a shoe is limited or not. I just buy the shoe. If it's something that I really want, I just buy it if I like it, or I don't really care if they make 3 million pairs, I'm still gonna get it. Um, and when I thought of a GR, like I said, I have a lot. There was one that came to my mind in particular uh, because it's a shoe that we don't necessarily see this model um, release or retro too often. And also this colorway, you know, no one, at least in my area, really wanted the shoe. And we're gonna talk about that a little bit later as to why that may have been, but it's actually a pretty nice colorway. And here we have the shoe. So I picked the Jordan 6 Maroon as the GR in my collection because I actually think this colorway is just so clean. Like that cream kind of beige off-white upper there, and it's got, you know, some relatively nice leather on it, and just those hits of maroon are just fire. And I believe this is an OG colorway. Um, I think it released in like 91, 92, I can't remember the year, but when this shoe retroed, I think it was the first time that it retroed, um, and, and with the Nike Air on the back, it sat in my area everywhere. You could have bought this shoe 10 times over if you wanted. I saw it everywhere. And I actually picked this pair up because I think that, like I said, that maroon, it just looks nice. And those colors, man, you can dress it up or dress it down, you know? Um, and it's just a classy, uh, classic looking shoe. Um, now, when this shoe dropped, I remember here, I don't know if this was the first Jordan, but I remember it retailing, I think for around 220 or whatnot. And it was one of the first that had uh, had the Nike Air on the back. Um, well, I don't know if it was the first. I just remember it having Nike Air and it retailing for 220. And I remember hearing a lot of people or a lot of chatter about that being too much for this shoe. The shoe is too plain and you know, a lot of that, you know. And I think that's one reason why it sat around. And like I said, I don't remember if it's one of the first or it might've been one of the first few Jordans that released with that new price tag. And maybe that's why it just kind of sat because I remember like I saw this shoe everywhere. But you know how it goes as time passes. Um, this shoe is probably around on average, maybe $400 now on like GOAT and all that, StockX or whatever. So it's a, you know, must pick up. Hopefully you grabbed it and you don't have to pay that resale. But in my opinion, it's a super nice shoe. Um, just another look at the side right there for you. And let's get a look at that toe box. You can really see that cream and that maroon there on the toe. Um, just a fire shoe, man. I I've always liked this tongue right here. Now, I'll admit, the Jordan 6, is it one of my all-time favorite Jordans? Um, I would say no, but, you know, as, you know, as I get older, I tend to like it a lot more because this is just straight 90s vibes, man. I, for one thing, one of my favorite Jordan logos or text is that Air Jordan text right there on the tongue of the shoe. I've always thought that looked really nice. So that's one reason I like it. And then that soul, man. That soul is straight 90s vibes, man, all day. Like, really, really like that. So that's one reason, a couple reasons, actually, that I picked it up. And, of course, Nike Air on the back right there. Doesn't get any more classic than that. And it's a GR, like I said, that you could have picked up anywhere. Um, comment down below and let me know that you guys actually grabbed this shoe, man. Like, I just, you know, I was sitting there thinking about a GR. Like I said, I have a lot of them. And I was like, man, I can really, you know, which one do I pick? And then this one was the first one that came to my mind. So I think it's a fire shoe, super clean. Um, I would like to see more sixes. You know, one thing that, you know, when I see this shoe it reminds me of, I actually, for some reason, in 2019, when the infrared sixes dropped, I did not pick those up. I think I was in one of those phases of like, I don't need another shoe or, you know, I just was trying to like, you know, not buy any more shoes. I don't know why I decided to do it with that one. I should have picked it up. Because I got this one, and I don't know why I did not pick up that, um, the black infrared sixes, but oh well, maybe I'll get them one day, but you know, that's it guys. That's my number, uh, day seven, a GR in your collection. Again, thank you for watching. Please drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to partake in the challenge, the list of challenges will be down below in the description. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.